Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to show you how to change a uh, headlight on a 2008. It's an F350 and this vehicle should look familiar. This is the one we did the alternator on a little while ago. Uh, we did talk to the customer and of course he told us to go ahead and replace the headlight because you can't drive with one light on there and the other one not on. So we're going to replace this headlight right here with a new one. Now the way we're going to do it, I'm going to bring you in, I'm going to show you in a second. You really don't need anything special. You need just a tool like this with a socket on the end of it just to take that off. I believe this is a 7 or an 8 millimeter. If I had my glasses, I could tell you for sure, but I'm not positive. Um, so let me show you the bolts we're going to take out to gain access to it. It's fairly, fairly simple to get to. We're basically going to come up underneath here. We're going to take out this bolt here and this bolt over here. And there should be one more down underneath the bottom. Oh, somebody left it out. There's supposed to be another bolt right inside there as well. But that's somebody had left it out, so that we're not going to worry about that. And then it'll pull right out of the fender right over here, and we'll pull it right out of the way. So, uh, all right, let's do that. getting a little bit tighter. We are going to never seize this before we put it back in so we don't have any problems. Okay, now we're just going to pull it. Let's bring it in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. You just take this, pull this light out just like this, and then up in the back, right here is where your light bulb is. Now we're just going to push this in. You know what, let me just try something. We're just going to take this piece here, push the little tab right here in, and then we'll take off the light. Just like that. Let's, uh, let's call up, let's get the new light, and we'll put this job back together. So, now if you wanted to test before you replace the, um, the light bulb to make sure it's no good. You would take a test light like this and you just plug it into the outlet right here. You can see that's lit up red. That's the high beam right there. So we have power and we should have ground in here as well. And there's our ground. See how it's lit green? That's our ground. And this should be our normal everyday driving lights, not the high beam. So let's go in the vehicle. We'll put the low beams back on and we'll test that to make sure. Okay, so now we should have power right here as well, which we do. All right, so we have power, we have ground, and that is our high beam, which we know we tested, and we had power in there a moment ago. Okay, so now we should have power in this one as well, and that's it. All right, so now we know that this light bulb is actually burnt out. We're not guessing. We know for sure that this bulb is burned out. I do have to call the postal to get this sent in because this is an H13. I don't have it here in stock, so let's get the light bulb, and I think we're going to put this back in tomorrow, so uh, we'll continue this one tomorrow. Okay. Now to put the replacement in, we just put the light in, in here like this. And you just take it and you turn it, you'll feel it lock in place. Plug our plug back on. Make sure that you feel it snap in place. And now before we do anything, we're just going to turn it like this. And we're going to go inside and we're going to test it. Okay, so our, our light is now finished. We're just going to put those screws back in that we previously took out, the ones that hold this in here 
in here. Actually, they left that one out as well. Okay. We're just going to put these pins right into the fender here first. Just like that. And then we're going to catch this one. And we'll screw the other one down here as well. That's it. So that's it. We're all set. All right. Now I, I will tell you this. I am going to go back to my box and I'm going to pull out two bolts and I'm going to put two new bolts back inside there because you really should never leave any bolts out. Um, I thought that the one they may have broken the bolt off inside there, but they did not break it. They just left it out for some reason. I guess it's too hard to put four bolts back in, you know, so they threw them away. So let me find some bolts, put it back together. This vehicle is done out the door once I do the oil change, but that's going to be tomorrow. We're not going to do that today. One very important detail I forgot to mention to you is that when, you, when you're putting these lights in or, or if you're taking it out, one good habit to get into is one, you want to wear gloves so you don't get any oil from your fingers on the light bulb itself. Uh, but if you don't have gloves, every, every, whenever you handle this bulb, you always handle it from the back. Never hold your fingers on this portion of it here. The oil from your fingers, just the oil from your fingers alone getting on this light bulb right here will cause this light to burn out prematurely. Uh, back in the day when these first came out, uh, we were, shops included, we were putting these bulbs in and we were putting them in like we normally did every other light bulb out there. You put the bulb in, you pushed it in, you turned it, and for some reason they kept on burning out. Well, the people who manufactured the bulbs, the bulbs came up with the conclusion that the reason that these bulbs burn out so often is because just the little bit of oil from your fingers that gets on here over a period of time causes something to happen that the filament actually breaks inside here. Is it true? I have no idea. But ever since back when they first came out with these bulbs, one habit to get into is to never touch this portion of the bulb here at all. Make sure you handle it always from the back right here. And of course, if you're putting it down, don't put it down on anything so it's going to get wet or, or any kind of oily substance on there because anything that you get on the bulb is going to shorten the lifespan of the bulb. Uh, I hear from customers all the time. They say, well, you know, I replaced a light bulb and, uh, and you know, a week later it burnt out. And 99% of the time it's because they actually touched it or they got a little bit of oil or something on the bulb that caused it to burn out prematurely. So. Just as a precaution, don't ever touch it, don't ever handle it. If you open up the package and, and this end is there, you grab it. If you open up the package and it's on this end, do not touch it. Just turn it around and grab it from the other side and you won't have any problem. And, uh, all right, so I just wanted to mention that to you in case you're wondering why bulbs burn out prematurely. We're on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.